Alterations and elimination, gastrointestinal. Ostomies. An ostomy is an opening between an internal body structure and skin. It may be an ileostomy, which is placed in the distal small intestine, or a colostomy, which is placed in the colon. The stoma is the opening on the exterior abdominal surface. The need for an ostomy might be due to an inflammatory bowel disorder, rupture of an intestine, irreversible obstruction, compromised blood supply to the intestine, or a cancerous tumor. A matured stoma is a process that uh, provides healing and a smooth peristomal area. Fecal matter from an ostomy may be liquid and it contains digestive enzymes. And the appliance uh, will consist of a pouch, may have some carya gum. All of this helps protect the skin and promote adhesion to the skin. So true or false, a colostomy is a surgically created opening between the small intestine and the skin. This is false. That would be an ileostomy. So an ileostomy, ileostomy can be temporary or permanent depending on the reason for it. There might be a standard or brook ileostomy, which is conventional which will involve a total colectomy, and the fecal material is going to be liquid, mushy, or pasty. It may be a continent or abdominal pouch and involve creation of an internal reservoir that is removed periodically. Uh, the stool contents are removed periodically with a catheter. Or an ilioanal reservoir, which helps maintain bowel continence. It can be performed for chronic ulcerative colitis and it's done in two stages. We have a temporary ileostomy initially and then about three months later the ileostomy would be reversed. Preoperatively the client should be encouraged to consult with the ostomy nurse and it will also require cleansing of the bowel. Postoperatively, it will be normal post-op care, maybe an NG tube, IV fluids, antibiotics, and monitoring for any complications, in addition to client education on ostomy placement. The ostomy appliance is a collection device that's worn over a stoma that collects feces. It can be a disposable one or two piece device with a pouch and a face plate or a disc. Temporary would be preferred in the immediate postoperative phase. Reusable equipment is also available and that involves an O-ring on the face plate that allows a pouch to be replaced as needed. It may also uh, have a belt to help support the weight of the pouch. The adhesive will help seal better if with body warmth. So sometimes placing the hand over the uh, actual pouch material will help it seal better. We also need to make certain that the hole for the stoma is not too large. This will help prevent skin irritation. And if significant gas develops, the appliance may require what we call burping. In other words, releasing of the built up gas. And if skin impairment or repeated leakage occurs, we may need to consult an ostomy nurse. So preoperatively, we're going to look at surgical management, the interventions by the physician, such as why, why are we doing it, what are the benefits, what are the risks. We're going to discuss the appearance of the stoma, its function, and help mark that site. Interstomal therapists or interstomal therapy nurses may be consulted. Wound, ostomy, and continence nurses may help collaborate with the surgeon and the client's educational needs. 
We identify risks from a total colectomy, such as bladder and sexual dysfunction. With the sexual dysfunction, it may be necessary to collect and store sperm, and there might be a slightly diminished fertility in women. Cleansing of the bowel will be necessary, along with dietary restrictions. Uh, we may use laxatives or lavage agents, antibiotics, prophylaxis, or IV antibiotics. Taper and discontinue any steroids to help avoid negative effects on tissue healing. We may do a preoperative stress dose of an IV steroid to help prevent that adrenal crisis. Discontinue any immunosuppressant agents to prevent a negative effect on tissue healing. And discontinue aspirin containing compounds to minimize the risk of bleeding. In addition to obtaining any blood samples, uh, type and cross match for the replacement of any potential blood loss. Postoperatively, it may require some rectal packing to absorb drainage uh, and help promote healing. Usually will be done for about five to seven days. Irrigations to promote healing, a nasogastric tube for gastrointestinal decompression. IV fluids to help maintain that fluid electrolyte and nutritional balance. And antibiotic therapy along with analgesics. Nurses will monitor wound healing and manage complications, uh, making sure there's no intestinal obstructions. Monitor the stoma for bleeding or impaired blood supply, stenosis, prolapse, or excessive protrusion. Monitor for prolapse or protrusion of the ileostomy. We're also monitoring the for edema because this can cause obstruction or restrict the stomal blood supply and monitoring for stomal necrosis. Uh, it can prolapse if not managed promptly and skillfully. So true or false, discontinuing the use of aspirin before surgery decreases the likelihood of excessive bleeding. This is true. So true or false, a coke pouch is used to facilitate a continent ureostomy. This is false, that's a continent ileostomy. So a colostomy is going to be an opening into the large bowel. Fecal matter will be semi-liquid deformed. It will be more formed the closer in the colon to the rectum that the ostomy is placed. Indications would be for cancerous lesions, ulcerative inflammatory processes, multiple polyposis, or injury to the bowel. <coughs> Excuse me. It can be temporary, permanent. It can be placed in the ascending, transverse, descending, or sigmoid colon. It may require regular irrigations uh, to control control the sigmoid and descending colostomy, which could eliminate the need for a continuous appliance. The colostomy may be a single barrel, or double barrel, or a loop. The single barrel has a single stoma. Uh, there is a segmental resection with an abdominoperineal resection. This is for tumors in the lower third of the sigmoid. The double barrel will have a stoma that's proximal and distal, and it will duplicate medical record diagram, uh, nursing care plan to assess the bowel function and any irrigations that are required. Temporary will treat the disorder, such as acute diverticulitis and chronic constipation, inflammatory bowel disease, but the interval before reestablishing it, unlike the ileostomy, will be 16 months or longer. With the loop colostomy, we have a loop of bowel that's lifted and supported uh, with a glass rod or plastic butterfly device. The opening of the intestinal loop and bowel 
uh, lax pain receptors. It protects the bed and the client's clothing when the loop colostomy is opened. We need to prepare the client for the pungent odor of the fecal material. These are extremely odorous. With a temporary ostomy pouch, it will receive the flow of liquid feces. Nurses need uh, to manage preoperatively the same way they would with an ileostomy. And be certain that you're aware of the anxiety levels due to the cause for the ileostomy or colostomy especially if it's cancer. But this does create a significant body image deficit. True or false, a colostomy can be permanent or temporary, and that is true.